Oh. Nani? Oh, that's the festive. Yes, we got the festive figure. Let's go. So surviving the facility has a Christmas update. There's five new holiday guns hidden around the map. There's a new decorated lobby. There's two new holiday monsters and two new game passes. There's also a badge that's new here. Festive figure from a rare chance get taken out by festive figure. The lucky person who defeats this will get 15,000 KOs. Crazy. This will expire after Christmas. Hopefully we can run across ourselves festive figure. All right, let's hop in and let's go ahead and try to figure out where these guns are. All right, so we've loaded in. We can see that we have ourselves a Christmassy biome. Very cool, very cool. Let's see if the killers have been updated. I see some uh, Santa looking. We already knew about festive sneaky. Knew about him. I, had, I don't know about candy. Okay, so to get the red rifle, you're gonna be at the spawn and you're just gonna go ahead and head into hall A. Just run in here to the left. Open the big door if it's not opened up. Bite off some of these candy cane men and zombies. Head into this right door right here and you're gonna have to kill maybe three things. Maybe Maybe nothing who knows but behind this last pillar here is the red rifle alrighty here at the new branch we have ourselves our red rifle and when we shoot the dummy we see that it has a triple burst of 45 damage if you land all three you're gonna do about 135 damage I believe that's quick math off the top of my head I think it's right but yes 135 damage to anything that you attack it has a 90 round mag the next thing on the list to get is the festive minigun which we will be heading down the same hall but not the same path so go ahead and head down hall a we're gonna go ahead and go straight once we get into here. Don't open up any of the doors. We'll try to avoid all the monsters that are around here. You gotta watch out for, I think it might be Seeker that's around here, or not Seeker, but it's uh, Sneaky. Sneaky is who you have to watch out for. Right here is where I had my encounter with the festive mob, the new mob that can spawn. So maybe it might spawn back here, but this is where I did have my encounter. We're gonna keep on running down this path all the way to this door here. We will open this door. We gotta watch out for we can hear the noise we can hear the audio which means just start running and jumping in different directions once you open up this door close it right behind you so you cannot be followed but we're gonna head down to the end of this hallway here we are not gonna open up the enemy in there we're gonna actually drop down into the dirt zone here the first thing you're gonna do is take this right right in this room right here you're gonna need an explosive because we have ourselves figure to take out but in this room here, we have ourselves the festive minigun. We're now back at the new bridge. We have ourselves our festive minigun. It takes a good chunk of time to actually start up to shoot. It has 150 rounds and it does 100 damage per bullet. So the next thing that we're going to get on our list is the candy cane sword. This is really cool. I like this. I always love melee weapons. Granted, you're in the most danger using a melee weapon, but pfft, danger's our middle name, isn't it? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and head down hall C. Believe it or not, there's nothing down hall B. I don't know. It's just nothing ever comes up there once we get here we're gonna take a right once we open up the door here it will be on our right hand side you can see that there's a skeleton and then there's baldy might have to uh do a little explosive cheese but we're gonna go ahead and open up this door and grab ourselves the candy cane sword the candy cane does 75 damage but it also does knockback it will shoot enemies back which is really good so the next couple guns are actually going to be in sequence just follow the path that i will take right now we're going to take the same exact path as we were taking for the candy cane, but we're going to run past it this time. We're going to head up the parking garage. Make sure we kill everything. Once we are here, we're going to take a right, and now we have ourselves the green rifle. We are going to go ahead and pick this up. We have two more items to grab throughout here. We're going to open up the door to Hall M. We are just going to run past everything in here. We don't need to mess with anything. We're going to head to the door that's back here. We're going to head down the staircase. Open it up, and now we are in all of the hallways that meet. So the first thing we're going to grab is Hall G. We're going to go down here and grab ourselves the green pistol. I forget the name off the top of my head. Now, when you go down this hallway, you're going to get the jolly weapon. But I want you to be very careful because there's one green monster in here you're definitely going to want to not touch. Look at that. <laughs> oh, the green one just kicked me out. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. I highly recommend you grab yourself a uh, rocket launcher, and as soon as you see that person, walk up to the door. We just hit it with a rocket launcher so we don't get kicked, and that is how you get your yourself the jolly we're not done yet though we're gonna hop over to the hall in our left and get ourselves the festive rocket launcher just gotta walk down the path through here and we will open up any of the doors either left or right doesn't matter the, the rocket launcher is right here ready for us to grab 
So the description says five new holiday weapons, but uh, I have uh, six in my inventory. There might be something from last Christmas, maybe, that I, I am not aware of, but I have six items. <laughs> the uh, green rifle here does the exact same thing as the red rifle. The jolly gun does 60 per hit with a 90 round mag. The festive launcher has a hundred rounds in the chamber. And it does 750. I will spam click to show you how fast the fire rate is on it. Decent fire rate. Pretty much, a, it's a good weapon to have. It's almost as good as regular rocket launcher right here. I forget what this is called. It does about 200 less damage than the future. The one perk the future has is it has a fast fire rate, but the future also has to reload, which is kind of bad. But the future might just still have a slight edge over the festive launcher. I think that covers all six of these weapons. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope every single one of you have an amazing rest of your day, night, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in the next one. Later.